Hello, my name is Lucy Gambier and I'm the really very proud head teacher at Penrice Academy. At Penrice, we have three core values of pride, respect and success. And that really goes through everything we do every day here at Penrice. So we want our young people to be proud of themselves, proud of their achievements, proud of who they are and who they become. And also our staff are hugely proud of our, our students here. To run any successful organisation there needs to be a, a huge amount of respect between everybody and that's respect between um, young people, between them and their peers, between the adults and the, and the young people both ways. So that respectful environment builds that culture that you, you'd want in every, in every school. And success, success is different for everybody and we recognise that. For some people they have top exam results and they're hugely proud of those successes. For other young people, they manage to turn up to school in the morning and for them that's a huge barrier overcome and a real success. For others, they manage to make new friends, that's a real success. Others might learn new skills, come to Penrife Plus um, and, and learn to do something they've never done before and for them, that is a huge success. So it's, uh, you know, it's our, our three values really encompass what we're about, what we're trying to do, but they all have, you know, various levels of meaning within them. Over the last 12 months and ongoing, we've been working on our, our character development. So we're looking really carefully at actually the young people we're creating at Penrice and thinking about what sort of character traits you want young people to leave school having. Um, so things like resilience, um, fairness, kindness, respect. Um, and so we deliberately planned a curriculum that allows explicit teaching of some of those character traits. So it, it doesn't happen by accident, it, it, it is a part of our taught curriculum, so it runs through some lesson time, but it also runs through everything we do. All of our assemblies reference back to some of the character traits that we want young people to learn, our tutor times, the tutor reading we're doing is very carefully selected so that it explores different people's viewpoints and allows that deeper understanding of other people's cultures, values um, and, and lifestyles. So when you come and have a look around Penrice, and please do, we encourage everybody to come in. We are an open school, come whenever you want, and there's particular open events that um, invite you to come in on certain days. Um, you will notice that the atmosphere in lessons is one of hard work, of commitment and dedication, where you see students really focused on the expert in the room that, that's the teacher, um, and in then imparting that expert knowledge onto the students. But you'll also notice that, that there is a sense of, of engagement and learning and curiosity from the students. There are other times where you'll see real fun and real enthusiasm for learning happening alongside that dedication and focus that you'll see in lots of our classrooms. And I think the most important thing about the atmosphere in our classrooms is the warmth, the relationship between our staff, all of our staff, our teaching staff and our support staff and the young people here at Penrice. I feel like the atmosphere of lessons at Penrice are very, very light-hearted, they're very welcoming and opening. There's never any discretion about answers that you can give in the classroom and no judgments ever given. Yeah, I feel that they're really engaging with the student. There's always um, a fun lesson put in here and there to break up um, the normal you know, curriculum learning, which you know, keeps you entertained and keeps you interested in the lesson. Um, there might be a certain enrichment opportunity in the subject, for example, like in science, maybe we make rockets one lesson um, out of the blue, and it's just really fun to not know what's coming up. I'm Doug O'Brien, I'm Deputy Head Teacher here at Penrice. I lead on curriculum and enrichment for our students. Learning at Penrice is about so much more than what happens in the classroom. It's truly about developing the whole child. So all of the different activities, enrichment opportunities, visits, trips that our students get to go on, help to develop them as people, developing character virtues, whether that be teamwork, resilience, perseverance, confidence, all their civic virtues about community and collaboration with others. Our students leave us being truly well-rounded, developed young adults. At Penrice, we have an incredible range of extracurricular and enrichment opportunities for our students that primarily takes place in Penrice Plus. Over the course of last academic year, we had 25,000 sessions attended by students. Across the academic year, we had well over 100 different clubs that students could choose to attend, and we had over 200 opportunities for students to represent the school in a variety of different competitions. Penrice Plus has got four different strands to it the arts, sport, well-being and academic clubs and they have a whole variety of different activities within each of those four categories. 
In the art section, our clubs include street art, set and prop design for our school musical, Penrice band, and a whole range of other different activities. So for our budding sportsmen and sportswomen, we offer an incredible range of different activities from girls football, which has been incredibly successful at Penrice, to rugby, to cricket, to athletics, and particularly health and fitness. We've got a brand new state-of-the-art facility called The Zone, which is our refurbished gym with an amazing array of different pieces of equipment that our students can use in their PE lessons and after school. The well-being of our students is incredibly important to us, so as part of the well-being strands to Penrice Plus, there's an array of different activities they can choose from, from mindfulness to spending time down on the farm, to survival school, getting outdoors, there's a brilliant range of different activities for our students. We're really excited to offer a brand new set of academic activities during Penrice Plus this year, from our brand new politics club to a philosophy club and an exciting opportunity for our young leaders to develop their leadership skills. I went to the school production and that's um, either a musical or a play that they put on and the last one was Mary Poppins and that was really good because you can get involved in any way where it's being one of the cast or may, maybe being backstage as one of the set design or helping get the actors ready. So we, we know that for any school, its success is largely based on the relationships formed between the student, the teacher and the parent. And it's that triangulation between all aspects of that young person's life which enable the young person to be successful through school. Um, we know through asking our parents that the, the parents feel that 87% of, of them are really happy with the expectations we place on their child at school. And I think those expectations are both for academic and how they behave and, and conduct themselves in school. Um, um, and and, and that, that largely is working alongside the parents to make sure they understand our expectations and therefore the young people are able to, to meet those. We're also hugely proud that 86% of our parents feel that their child does well here. And we're really, really proud of that. We'll obviously work hard to make sure we grow that up towards the 90% and beyond. Um, but that, that's a really important indicator that, that you're supportive of the school and you're happy with the way that we're, we are um, educating and, and enriching your, your children. Yeah, so at Penrice we do a huge amount of charity work every year. Every year our student council actually decide on which charities they feel would be best place for us to, to raise the money for. Um, and they, they, they help to organise a whole host of events across the school year to raise money for those selected charities. So this year, as an example, the r and LI was one of our chosen charities. We did a Christmas jumper day, which raised uh, over £1,000 for the r and LI, which is fantastic. And then we had a 24-hour event, which our Year 11 students actually organise themselves where they uh, stay awake all night um, raising money by doing a 24-hour exercising campaign and they raised uh, a huge amount of money split between three charities. We think it's hugely important that young people understand about charitable causes and understand um, what other people in different circumstances are going through and that's why it's so important we do charity work to raise awareness for various causes. So at Penrice we have of course, which is the right thing to do, opened our doors to any Ukrainian uh, young person and family who needs a safe school to go to um, and we're delighted to be able to welcome them into our school community. It's not only the right thing to do, it, it enriches our environment hugely and it allows our young people to be able to see um, empathy working at its best but also the understanding of other cultures viewpoints is hugely important to our young people at Penrose. So far this academic year we've welcomed a number of Ukrainian students who are currently fleeing the war in Ukraine. I've been lucky enough to give one of them a tour around the school and then they've then decided to join Penrice. She's currently in my maths class and from what I have seen she's been fitting very well. 
I think it was definitely um, different when they joined because you could see the difference in the classroom where they'd maybe have subtitles up on the board but I think it was really great to be able to cater for them and put their own language um, on the board to translate um, so that they can get involved in the lesson as much as everyone else. I felt really excited to welcome the new Ukrainian students as some of the Russian speaking ones I was able to communicate with and just widen their knowledge about the school. I've just, I guess I've just learned how to communicate with others more and being able to describe things and just show them around and just develop my character and being able to be like a leader in a way. It's made me feel like our school is really um, supportive to other students out there. It's been a nice experience to see the Ukrainian students making friends again and learning what we're learning and almost having a fresh start. So this year, the class of 2022 have done absolutely exceptionally. We are so proud of each and every one of them. Their results stand them in hugely good stead across the country. So we're, we're massively proud of, of our students for, for their achievements. And we must accredit the, the success to them. They have worked ever so hard to, to gain those, those results. Um, but we must also, of course, thank our staff who have worked relentlessly to make sure each student gets the very best outcomes that they possibly can. Um, but also we work in very close partnership with our parents and our governing body we do a huge amount of work to support to support Penrise and the Penrise community so it's the, that collaboration between all our different groups which kind of contribute to the success of our students so our class of 22 leave Penrise with an amazing set of results they can take with them unlocking doors for their future just to give you a few highlights 83 percent of our students leave here with their English and their maths GCSEs which we know are fundamental for what they want to do in the future we also know that 92% of our students leave with their GCSE um, standard pass for their, for their science. And of course, they've got very, very high results for their drama, for their history, for their art, which are all huge successes um, in terms of outcomes for this year. We are Cornwall Education Learning Trust. Celt is everyone in our organisation. Every pupil. Every teacher. Every member of our support staff. Everyone in our shared service team. Every governor. And every trustee. We are an all-age group of academies. Far greater than the sum of its parts. We are passionate about working together. To give every child a great education. We are an inclusive. Learning community working hard together to support our students to succeed in every possible way, wherever their talents or ambitions. Our relationships in Celt are inclusive and special. In Celt, everyone matters. At Celt, we love to learn together. We want to be an exceptional and inspirational learning community where everyone is supported to achieve more than they thought possible, now and in the future. Our Celt values run through everything we do. We collaborate. Because sharing ideas and learning from each other is how we improve. No one has all the answers. But together we go beyond what is achievable alone. We empower our schools. Through a culture of high professional trust. We value the distinctive character and community of each of our schools. We lead with integrity. Go and creativity. We believe we really can change the world. We are transforming education and we are transforming young lives through education. We're not afraid to do things differently in order to do things better. We value every student equally and provide opportunities and rich learning experiences. This enables everyone in our trust to be inspired and to be remarkable. We are Cornwall Education Learning Trust. We, we are Cornwall, Cornwall Education, Education Learning, Learning Trust. Trust.